Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Uh, before going to the charts today, I'm going to do something that I started yesterday. I'm going to comment or read a few comments I got from the last video and I'm going to answer. So let me check. We have a comment from Kapka Filipova and she says, thank you, Hugo, love your videos. Uh, thank you. Uh, then we have MindDocs, great work, thanks, thanks MindDocs, and I've seen that you always comment and make suggestions on Twitter, uh, I've been, even today I was uh, discussing with you on Twitter about your chart, and I guess we agree on some things, then... Yes, mind works again, and yes, the BitMEX funding rate is very high. Somebody might get wrecked. What is the reason behind your 0 0.11 threshold? Is it just personal observation or based on some calculation? Okay, I guess I already answered you on the, on the comment itself on YouTube, but just for everyone that is watching the video, I think I've already said this before also on in, in other videos, but the 0 0.11 is a number that from personal experience I got just, you know, from empirical observations of the charts and every time the percentage of the BitMEX funding rate goes above the 0.11 percentage, usually uh, it shows some kind of reversal on the charts and you know i use it just as a market sentiment so i can understand if we are in risk of some kind of reversal in the price action or not and so far the 0 0.11 percentage has been uh, very good you know finding the actual level where several very volatile reversal uh, reversals on the price action happened um, also, if you if you are um, a tone vase follower, you will see that he also believes in the 0 0.11 level. He also uh, uses that line on the BitMEX funding rate. And so it's not just me, but I guess uh, several people already uh, noticed that above the 0 0.11, we have more probabilities of price action reversal. So that's why I use it. It's not based in any kind of calculation. It's just based on, uh, you know, um, observation of the charts and the price action on the uh, in the markets. Okay, so let's uh, check our last comment for today. Uh, from Tiago Rezualves and he says nice to see you experimenting and explaining what viewers comment yep so as I said before I was trying thank you uh, Tiago for your comment I was um, saying before on Twitter and also on my previous two or three videos that I plan to start having a weekly live stream where people can interact with me directly, ask their questions, ask me to check some charts and uh, keep some kind of dialogue instead of just, uh, you know, watching the videos in silence and that's it. I think it's very, um, you know, it's not so interesting as the ability to um, interact directly. So I'm starting that already by reading your comments, but I plan to have live streams. Let's see if we can get the channel to reach the 1000 subscriber mark and we'll see what happens next. So when we get to the 1000, probably it's much better to have live streams because, you know, usually when you have that number of subscribers, you get five to 10% people watching the live streams and that could be much better than just one or two so let's see what happens in the future regarding the channel subscriptions okay for now that's it so i have four comments and please if you if you want to uh if you want me to address any kind of question or any comment just comment below on the video comments and i will address those uh relevant comments um, in the next video so also if you if you have been enjoying the content in this channel smash the like button share the videos subscribe to the channel if you're new and tell your friends about this channel let's try to get it to 1000 subs and so we can have live streams 
Okay, so let's go to the charts really quick. Today, I hope we have uh, a bit um, a bit shorter video than yesterday because you know my patience is getting really <laughs> very low when when it comes to upload the videos to YouTube. So, okay, so let's start. Uh, where am I? Where is my cursor here? So let's go to the price of time model as usual. We start here. Uh, I'm already seeing something, no, not really. So when I zoom in here, we are still below, we are still below the exponential curve of the price to time model. So, so far, so good, no problems here. I believe that we will not have a correction. Like when I say correction, I mean something like 15, 20% decrease uh, in the price level. So I guess we will not have any kind of correction like the ones before here and here and here uh, right now because the price is just you know uh, below the uh, exponential curve line so so far so good I don't believe we are going to see any major uh, volatility uh, so for the price of time model that's it let's go quickly to the MRI charts and we start with the monthly continues bullish the monthly is still not over uh, so today is the 31st of March so I guess tonight at zero hours of the 1st of April we will have a candle close which will be very nice if it could be above the 59 mark for the 59,000 mark for me that would be very good and very bullish however we are still about 350 dollars away from that level let's see what happens in the next few hours but i'm expecting that at least we could cross the 59,000, giving us a very good sign of a bullish market in the monthly chart the rsi continues to just decline a bit but still going up the macd of course very very bullish no signs of uh, any bearish market soon but also in the monthly chart this is a bit lagging a lagging indicator uh, of course the bitmax funding rate we cannot see it here because of this stupid bar but the fissure distance from the ema is still very uh, distant from the zero from the neutral where it should be considered the normal so as you see we are still in the monthly we are still very exponentially uh, extended and for the monthly chart that's it let's check the weekly and the weekly looks very 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 good this is exactly what you expect on a healthy and sustainable price action. Up, correction, up, correction, up, correction, and now going up again. We are on a we are on a green two candle of nine. We have a buy signal here. The star, the green star, is here. We are very distant from the uh, tra my two trend lines, which for me would be like a uh, red line indicator in your car when you go over the revs of the engine what you should uh, go sorry so for me this is a very good uh thing we are still above the trend line here the 20 period moving average is going up trying to catch up with the price action so everything looks good the volume however is declining still so we continue to maintain that bearish divergence also the rsi shows the same bearish bearish divergence uh, i can zoom in a bit so that you can see here you can see the price the volume sorry the volume is declining also the rsi is declining and the price in the last few weeks corresponding to the same uh, time period of the declines on the RSI and volume has been increasing. So this is our bearish divergence. The only thing I see which is not very good uh, in the weekly chart. But so far all the rest looks very good. And let's see what's happening on the daily. 
so the daily shows a very bullish in my opinion very bullish uh, break out of this uh, ranging channel uh, this was pointed out on my last video by Mindox and I was also agreeing with him that uh, the price should keep above as soon as we break this ranging channel the price has to keep above of that ranging channel in order to have uh, to continue to be bullish so what happened was a retracement that we are going to check much better on the next chart but everything looks good for you know breaking the resistance after the 59,000 level to the 61 and a half and if that happens of course we are going to see new all-time highs so everything looks good in this chart we are above the two trend lines in white all the moving averages are in order the 200 period is this purple one down here then we have the 100 period which is the red one down here then we have the 50 period which is the yellow and then we have the 20 period which is the green so all the moving averages are in the correct order from the highest period below to the shortest period above also that's a very good indication of a bull market and special in the daily chart it that's very good the macd is now crossing over the orange so let's zoom in for people that complain a lot about not being able to see the small details so as you can see the blue line is now crossing over the orange line and the bars are becoming bullish also so i'm expecting a next bar to become green so the daily the daily chart looks very good to me but let's see the four hour chart and that's the textbook example of what a bull market is we broke the ranging channel here we went above it we retraced to the top of the ranging channel again we went above we retraced again the top of the ranging channel hold the price in conjunction with this moving average the 20 period moving average on the four hour chart we have a beautiful hammer candle here it's red but it's a big big hammer candle so that means it was a big retracement and then immediately went up and now we are again trying for the third time to break the 5961 resistance which was the first time was here the second time was here and now this is the third attempt to cross over this resistance and try to go up in the price level so that is a very good signal uh, from the four hour chart uh, you can see the trend lines just here so it doesn't count so much but the ranging channel is here you can see the white lines going down you see the break of the channel first retracement second retracement third attempt to break the resistance after the 59,000, which i believe we could close the monthly candle at the zero hours of the first of april so in just a few hours from now if we close it above this red line which is exactly the 59,000 level that will be very 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 bullish in my opinion okay we can now start to see the rsi is going up sorry uh, the MACD is undecided, so it's a bit neutral. So you see the, you can see the blue line crossing the orange line, but not going below it. So they are now together, just going sideways. This is neutral uh, when it comes to the MACD. However, the bar appearing right now is green, and that's a very good sign. It just appeared as we speak, as I'm recording this video so the rsi is also turning up as you can see and the only thing i don't really like is this the bitmax funding rate look this has been for the past three bars this has been above my threshold of 0 0.11 percent and that's an indication that the market could have some kind of reversal or volatility to the downside and the bar just increased a bit so although this one is lower than the previous one we are still above the uh, dot 11 percent which 
to me is not a good sign so let's see what level are we are now we are at 0 0.13 sorry that you can't see the price when i zoom in so i have to zoom out and tell you guys the price or the price sorry the percentage in this case of the bitmax funding rate and this is 0 0.13 percent also, the Fisher distance is a bit distant from the zero, the neutral area, which would indicate a balanced uh, act price action. So let's see if we see some kind of reversal in this oscillator here and we go up. At the same time, I would like to see the BitMEX funding rate coming back down at least to zero, uh, 0 0.05 or 0 0.6. Uh, probably that would be a nice level of bitmax funding rate to continue the price action to the upside and look we just crossed the 59,000 right now we are having a new attempt we are trying again to break the resistance of the 59,000 and let's see what happens probably there will be some kind of difference when we finish this video so let's see okay Let's uh, just quickly go to the one hour where I can see the BitMEX funding rate. Yeah, so this is the problem. As you guys can see here, this is this has been a big problem. All these bars above the 0.11%. And this is what has been keeping us from going to the upside and new all-time highs. There's a very extended uh, funding rate. Funding rate, so that usually keeps the market from going up. But however, we are again trying just, that's very, very interesting here. So we just crossed the 59 to the upside. We are now 59,230. So I guess Bitcoin is trying really hard to overcome that resistance over there. Okay, just a quick, look at the pro indicators chart everything still looks good in the four hour uh, the ranging channel that i think more relevant is the big one here that is defined by the first range boundary second range boundary third range boundary the fourth range boundary almost touched we kept a really short distance from the bottom of the channel and the other channel that mind looks pointed out mind docs or mind do on twitter he pointed out this ranging channel here. This was a good um, um, a good guess from him, uh, a good analysis, and I also drew it here. And as you see, we went above, we touched, we had the first retracement really close to the top of the channel. Then we went above again, we retraced and quickly went up, forming this hammer candle, which is a very good signal, and then this really long green candle, which is happening right now so if we want to check news if we want to see new all-time highs we have to go to the third range boundary level which would be 61 and a half and then cross it and this distance here the distance between the current price action where we are right now and this dashed orange line is precisely the resistance we have to break to see new all-time highs Okay, guys, so I guess that for today, this is all I have to say. Let's see. So I guess that for today, this is all the analysis I um, we have so far at this point in time. Let's see how the monthly candle closes. I would love it to close above the 59,000. That would be a very good indication that we are going to see new all-time highs soon. So... If everything goes okay, uh, you will see me tomorrow. If anything extraordinary uh, happens, maybe you can see a short quickie today still by the time that the candle will close in a few hours. Um, so, and that's it for me today. So smash the like button, share the video with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.